All right, uh, this is going to be a video on the quickest way that I know to launch Steam VR. Just had to adjust. Steam VR uh, with your Windows Mixed Reality headset. Doesn't always work for me. Sometimes the headset turns black, but this is the fastest way I could figure to do it without having to do that much, whatever. So here I have the Lenovo Explorer, which by the way has the PlayStation VR <laughs> Mantis headphones attached to it. They do work. Um, not the best headphones in the world, but if you want convenience, they work. I would recommend that you wait till they have a price drop. Anyways, so what you're going to want to do is you need uh, Cortana enabled on your PC. You're going to need a mic and... I'm going to go to the settings to show you where to go to enable Cortana under settings. And then you have the option to talk to Cortana. I'm also on the latest build, the, um, you know, the Insider build. So you may not have all this. I don't know. I don't know how it's set up. But it has the thing where it says let Cortana respond to, uh, yeah. <laughs> if I say that, it's going to launch it. but And then it says respond when anyone says, um... And then there's the option to only do it when I say that. I'm the only one here, so it doesn't matter to me. So, yeah. That has been enabled. And now we're going to launch Steam VR. We're going to try to go straight into Steam VR using Cortana. Hey, Cortana. Launch Steam VR. Okay. Which one do you want? One Windows Mixed Reality for Steam VR or two Steam VR? Two. Two. Which one? One Windows <laughs> Mixed Reality for too Steam quick. VR or two Steam VR? Two. Okay. Starting Steam VR. I don't know that that really matters, but the last time I said one, it, it, uh, the headset did not turn on. So there you see that the Mixed Reality portal started up and we have our headset mirror that I set up. And let's see if uh, we, our headset turned on. You see, the headset turned on, and we are actually in Steam VR. And of course, then you turn your controllers on. You can also launch games like that as well, just individual games. So if you know what game you wanna play, you don't even have to go into Steam VR, and you can just tell it to launch the specific game. Um, so that will work as well. So I found that when I asked it to launch actual Steam VR, um, it worked. And yeah, wait. <laughs> okay. So let me just lift the headset. And, yeah. So you see, it's moving around, and the headset mirror is up there, and all that fun stuff. So that was uh, the quickest way that I know to launch. Uh, Steam VR or even individual games without having to launch the um, the portal and then go into the the house and launch the uh, you know the desktop and then go into the Steam and this and that you know instead you can just launch go straight into Steam VR using your voice now if you don't have a mic you could basically launch Steam and launch the VR option there so that would work too. So, it's another option, but if you just want to use your voice, maybe you're not even near your PC, you can just launch it with your voice. So, that was what I was able to come up with, and you can launch individual games from Steam VR as well, and it will just hook straight into um, the portal and launch the game. But yeah, that, uh, that was the way, the way I did it with Cortana. You can also do that in... Uh, the mixed reality home. So if you don't want to, you know, go into Steam and do this and do that, you, while you're in mixed the um, home for mixed reality, you can um, either launch individual games or Steam VR with your voice. So that is that. Thank you for watching.